So、uh, Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has just declared a state of emergency in the face of coronavirus outbreak. And、uh, as somebody who is based in Tokyo, I can testify that this is something unprecedented in the living memory of many Japanese people.、Uh, Post war Japan has been a pacifist country and there has not been a really strong presence of military or authoritarian、uh, ruling. So, you know, the Japanese government has been really、um, shy of imposing strict rules on its citizens. And so the government has recently, there was a new registration. Uh, in the face of the coronavirus outbreak, and they extended the existing law to include an adaptation to the coronavirus、uh, pandemic. And the law has just come into effect, and the Prime Minister has declared a state of emergency according to that law. Well, living in Tokyo, I think、uh, there's a Feeling of resignation and perseverance among the Japanese people.、Uh, experts have been arguing that this would have be more or less、uh, inevitable、uh, sooner or later,、uh, but there was this feeling of wishful thinking and denial, even among、uh, the people in general, because、uh, for one thing. There was this issue of Tokyo to 2020. You know, many people were hoping that、uh, the Tokyo Olympics would be able to go forward as planned. So, people were having this wishful thinking that the coronavirus pandemic would somehow spare Japan, if not other countries. But now it's clear that、uh, the Coronavirus is spreading in Tokyo, in Osaka, and other areas of Japan. So, of course, the Tokyo Olympics is now postponed, and it's not clear whether we can hold the games、uh, next year, even. And there's this realization that this pandemic is really serious, especially after、uh, the Report of Mr. Boris Johnson's severe conditions demonstrating that this virus can affect even a seemingly healthy,、um, you know,、um, outgoing individual. So there's this sense that this coronavirus is probably more serious than previously thought. And so th- At this precise moment,、uh, the Prime Minister declared a state of emergency, which I said, as I said,、uh, is unprecedented in the living memory of many Japanese people in the post war era. So, there's, this is something new.、Um, you know, we've never experienced anything like this. But compared to other countries where a strict lockdown is imposed, this state of emergency、uh, is not strict in terms of. Uh, restricting people's, you know, going out of doors and doing things and so on. It is just a request、um, to people not to go out. And, you know, of course,、uh, there are some restrictions on business, like、uh, the cinemas would be closed,、uh, so would be the department stores and、uh, nightclubs and bars and. And the Japan's famous Pachinko Parlors would be also closed. So, there are these really、uh, significant economic i m p a c t on Japanese society. But on the other hand,、uh, it's not a strict lockdown.、Uh, it's as if、uh, you know, the post war pacifist Japanese government、um, is kind of making a soft landing to a more You know,、uh, you know, capable regime、uh, for the lack of better words, which can do things that other governments in the world have been doing in this crisis, including 
lockdown and restriction of uh, people's uh, right to do whatever they want to do. So it's as a Japanese, uh, it's really interesting to see this change of uh, zeitgeist uh, in this adaptation of the Japanese government to the coronavirus. Uh, it is something, as I said, it is something unprecedented. But the change is really gradual. And probably we are soft landing to a new Japan, but we really don't know where we are going. Uh, but I can all at least say that the Japanese people are so far taking it really uh, in a calm way. Uh, in the typical Japanese uh, resilience and you know um, I hope uh, that this soft landing to a more strict uh, control of people's behavior which probably is necessary in controlling the spread of the coronavirus would lead to a better future and, and of course I really hope that Mr. Boris Johnson would recover. Um, it's such a terrible business that a man who was so, you know, ambitious and who was so outgoing and who might have been uh, politically, uh, you know, controversial, but who nonetheless were admired by many people for his, you know, ch even childish ways of behavior. Uh, you know, I, I, I hope he would recover and, you know, lead the British people out of this really dark tunnel. And all the best for Boris Johnson. And this has been my thought on this eve of the declaration of a state of emergency from Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. So let's stay healthy.